Flex items in a container are laid out in the order in which they appear in the source code. This order can be changed using the order property. In our example, we have nine items and you can see they are laid out item one through nine, which is the order that they appear in the code. Let's mix up the order. So I'm gonna go back to the CSS file and over here for item three, I'm going to add an order of one. Now, if I refresh the browser, you can see that item three is pushed all the way to the end. And that is because all items by default have an order of zero. So order one is greater than the order of all other items and hence appears at the very end. Now, if I change the order of item seven, let's say to two, you can see that item seven is pushed to the very end. So order zero items come first, then order one, and then order two. Now, if you specify the same order number for more than one item, items are laid out in the order in which they appear in the source code. For example, if I specify an order one for item nine, you can see that both item three and item nine have the same order. But in the HTML, item three appears before item nine. And that is how the items are laid out in the browser. Items with the lowest order, to items with the highest order. So the order property accepts an integer value and is used to control the order of items in the flex container. Elements with the same order value are laid out in the order in which they appear in the source code.